Chapter 64 of the Dragon Ball Super Manga dropped earlier today with a pleasant surprise of Mastered Ultra Instinct. Spoilers if you have yet to read the chapter. Now, going forward, my review style will be less recap based and more what I felt was done well and what leaves more to be desired. Luckily, the meat of the chapter is mostly Ultra Instinct and Goku's questionable choice in the end. First, let's talk about how Alter Instinct was handled in this chapter. Now, while Toyotaro's panel composition still lacks in some ways, I feel that he definitely conveyed how effortlessly Alter Instinct Goku can basically bay him. <laughs> Baby shake Moro, basically, for lack of better terms. I said basically way too much. Now, from the calm on Goku's face to the very small, subtle movements with devastating power, it really brings that martial art aspect back to an extent that I sorely craved. And the desperation on Moro's face showed just how much he was exerting and how little it meant to Goku overall. Now, in regards to Goku's decision at the end of the chapter, I have to say, I like how it thematically ties into Goku's conversation with Jocko at the beginning of the chapter in regards to fighting as a galactic patrol agent, reminding us that, yeah, he actually is currently acting as one. Because it's been a while since that was mentioned. You have to remember that even on his uniform, there is the galactic patrol symbol. Now, straying back to the choice that he makes, it's it's in character for Goku. It sorely and weirdly enough is, and it usually pays off to an extent, such as how his mercy to Frieza all the way back in the Namek Saga does actually pay off to an extent with Frieza helping out beating Jiren in the Tournament of Power. Now, whether that actually makes up for all the havoc Frieza is potentially wreaking altogether is questionable at best, but another discussion overall. But, as for what little mercy his mercy will really do for Moro, it's Yet to be seen, honestly, I can't say whether that's good or bad. All I can say is that it has varied effects. We have seen many of Goku's villains become heroes. Piccolo, Vegeta, just the best examples, honestly. So we can't say that it never works out for the best. There are cases like Frieza that barely work out, but we do have two very beloved examples that have worked out way for the better. Overall, it's been a decent chapter. It could have been a little bit better, but I didn't find anything too distasteful either. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like if so, and if you feel inclined to press that subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified for future content. Feel free to follow me on social media, which is down in the links below. And if you really want to see more of me, check out the podcast Nerd Talk that I co-host at twitch.tv slash skeptile227. We also upload these podcasts to our YouTube channel, Nerd Talk. Now, till next time, stay safe.